summer is right around the corner so I decided to buy a new barbecue grill for myself. It's not an expensive one because I will rarely use it but it's small, compact and have a lid so I would be able to store its accessories inside when it's not in use. The first thing inside the box is a sheet with some safety precautions. Then this is the cooking grid. Its diameter is 36 centimeters or almost 15 inches. Next we can find a package with the needed bolts and nuts. These are the legs of the barbecue. This is the black plastic handle. Next we can find the handle for the cooking grid. This is the charcoal basket. And the last thing we can find inside is the assembling instruction sheet. The instructions were not very clear so that's why I'm making this video. It can be helpful for someone. This is the lower hemisphere of the barbecue. I know that because there are three holes for the legs at the bottom. And this is the lid. It has only two holes on the top for the handle. Now arrange all the small parts next to the barbecue. You can see them up close. First let's install the ventilation cover on the lid. Take the vent cover, one of the short bolts, a split washer and one of the big nuts. Insert the bolt into the center hole of the vent cover and put it into its place. On the inside put the split washer onto the bolt and tighten the nut by hand. The split washer will prevent the nut from loosening while using the vent. Now the vent is ready to use. Let's install the lid handle. You need to take the two long bolts, two flat washers and two big nuts. Put the bolts into the holes of the handle and put the handle on top of the lid. Now turn the lid upside down. Hold the bolts with your hand because they can fall out of the holes. Now place one flat washer and tighten one of the big nuts on each one of the bolts. The tools for assembling the barbecue are not included so you must have a screwdriver and pliers. Take pliers and hold the nuts while tightening the bolt securely with a screwdriver. I'm holding the nuts with my hand but I will tighten them after I make the video. At this point the lid is fully assembled. On the lower hemisphere I will start with assembling the ventilation hole cover. To mount it you need one of the short bolts, a split washer and a big nut. Insert the bolt in the center hole of the vent cover and place it on the outside. Now put the split washer on the bolt and tighten the nut by hand. Don't tighten the nut too much because it would be hard to open and close the vent. Now let's mount the legs. The bolts in the washers are already screwed to each of the legs so you need to remove them first. Insert the bolt and the washer in one of the inside holes and turn the lower hemisphere upside down. Now take the leg and screw it onto the bolt. You have to do the same to mount all three legs of the barbecue. Please don't forget to support me by liking the video and leaving me a comment below. As always the video is not sponsored, I even don't know the brand of the barbecue.
After you mount all the legs, use a screwdriver to tighten all of the bolts securely. It's very important for the barbecue to be stable. Now let's install the metal clips. Take two of the small bolts and insert them into the holes of the metal clip. Now put the metal clip into its place on the side of the lower hemisphere. Take the L-shaped piece that supports the cooking grid and put it on the inside. The bolts must go into its holes. Now take two of the small nuts and tighten them. These bolts must be tightened securely so use a small wrench or pliers and a screwdriver to tighten them all the way. It should look like this. Now we have to mount the rest of the clips the same way. Insert two small bolts into the holes on the metal clip and put it into its place. Now put the metal support piece on the inside and tighten two small nuts to the bolts. Tell me what is your favorite thing to make on the barbecue. I have one additional big nut that came with the parts. Now we are ready. Place the charcoal basket inside then take the cooking grid and attach the handle to it. In the video I put the handle on the wrong side. Make sure the flat side of the cooking grid is on top. Now you can put the lid on top and close the metal clips. You can bend the sticking ends of the vent covers at a 90 degree angle so it will be easier to open and close them while you are using the barbecue. You can use the handle to move the barbecue. And this is a short footage of the first time I was using the barbecue. Everything was very tasty. Don't forget to share your favorite tasty recipes in the comments below. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day and see you in my next one.